大家好，欢迎来收看《中文简单》。我们今天来到北京最有名的步行街之一，那就是王府井。我最喜欢商店之一就是新世纪书店，所以我们现在要进去看一下他们有什么有用的、有意思的课本。啊，谢谢，新年快乐啊！新年快乐！你住哪里？差别挺大的。师傅，那个有那个汉语课本吗？汉语课本。对。啊，这个哈。行行行，好，谢谢。好的，我现在帮你们看一下中国有什么好看的课本。So as I said in other videos, I really recommend this book. If you're starting from scratch in learning characters, or maybe you know how to speak some and read some, but you're not proficient in writing them, this was the book that I really enjoyed for boosting my vocab and learning the correct stroke order. And what I found especially useful, and I'm not guaranteeing that this is the same for you, but for me, I was a visual learner, so I found it really handy to have the actual evolution of the character from the Jaguan. The、um, Gudai Hanza, which is the ancient Chinese character, and then it shows the whole process of how it changed up to what we have today in the modern character. As you can see, it is kind of baffling、um, because there's such a wide range of learning materials. You can check online for personal recommendations that you get from other people, but what I used to do is I would look for the BLCU, Beijing Language、um, University. And you could usually tell this is the mark here. They usually do good textbooks, and it's a matter of just flicking through the books and seeing what、uh, works well for you. Because they all come at learning Chinese from different angles. Some will be like doing it with songs. Some will be doing it with pictures. Some will be doing it、um, with. There's one here with chanting or with practical Chinese or the writing of Chinese. You know, it's all different angles. And different ways of approaching the same problem of learning Chinese. So it is a matter of just finding what works for you. But as I say, Peking University and BLCU—they're good brands to look for when you're picking up a Chinese book. So this series from BLCU—it's the Hanyu Jiao Cheng, and I studied a bunch of these. They're not particularly inspiring. That's the problem with a lot of Chinese materials. That's why I want to create my own Chinese materials. But I remember studying this book. Actually, it's it's quite interesting. They have some stories behind some of the Chengyu, like Zhishang Mao Dun. So this series is not a bad one to go for if you are looking for a textbook. So this is a bit of a blast from the past for me. This is the new version of the original Sanling、uh, Yiju conversational Chinese, and they try and teach you through 301. Sentences, and the first Chinese lesson I ever had when I went to China、uh, as an English teacher with the British Council, we were using the old version of this textbook. So my girlfriend, who's holding the camera right now, she's learning Chinese from scratch. So I'm going to pick this one up for her.、Uh, it's a kind of basic, just beginner's book. You know, it's as good as any. It starts with the、uh, greetings and goes through to, you know, introductions and all that kind of stuff. So it's a kind of Run-of-the-mill, box-standard learning Chinese book. I'll put a link for this in the descriptions, and this will actually take you reasonably far. There's a there's a fair bit of decent material in here to get you going. This is the first time I've actually been back to China for about three years, so I've been taking a bit of a trip down memory lane. I forgot how many books there are to study, and I forgot how many I've actually studied. I've been through a lot of these courses. So this is another course that I followed, which was quite decent. It's the Hanyu Kouyu Sucheng. Um, and this is the short-term spoken Chinese. There'll be links to this in the description below. But this is decent. The layout is pretty clear and logical. The lessons are fairly well structured, and you can make pretty quick progress by following these courses. Another series that I really liked when I was getting more advanced was this series for the oral Chinese. This is actually related. This is the higher level. This is also the Hanyu Kouyu Sucheng, but it's quite. Different. Once you get to the high level, it's good because it pushes you.、Um, you can see the lessons are very dense, and the actual dialogue has a lot of stuff. So I really liked it because it was jam-packed with stuff. 
So I do recommend the Hanyu Koyu Suchang. One final series I'm going to recommend to you is the Boya from Peking University. Okay, so this is Gaoji Hanyu Koyu. And again, it's good, it's a real test. The content is quite interesting. The lessons are reasonably well structured. It's fairly clear to follow. So Boya is also good for um, their reading comprehension and their other textbooks. So they're a decent, a decent series to pick up if you're if you're interested. Now we so as I said in one of my other videos, if you're looking for reading materials and you are in China, you can pick up an absolute wealth of stuff even at your local supermarket, which is where I am now. And you can see they've got all these little kids books. If you're starting from scratch, you can pick up one of these and actually learn like a Chinese kid would. It might be a bit humiliating for you to, to be using kids books, but don't worry, it's not like you have to do the coloring in or anything. It gives you a good opportunity to practice tracing the character and drill the pinyin as well. So you've got books here which cover all manner of subjects and they all cover all different ranges of your language learning ability. And what you'll often find is that these kind of books, these native resources are actually a lot more interesting than the textbooks you get where they trot out the same kind of formulaic lessons. This is authentic materials that people are actually using in the country. So they're often more interesting. And here I've just picked up a little book on Chinese history and it's really cool. It's got all the pinyin and even for someone like me who's been reading newspapers and stuff for years and government reports, this kind of stuff is fun because I actually want to learn about Chinese history and I want to learn about these subjects and I can just do it in a fun accessible way and not have to be getting the dictionary out and stuff like that. So it just keeps it interesting no matter what level you're at. And I realize some of you are probably saying, oh, that's great, Fred, but I don't live in China, but you can still get these materials online. 